And along with those young, unprotected kids, we have 7 million immunocompromised people in this country. People who look just like you or me, but are not able to get the same level of protection from the vaccine and remain vulnerable when disease burdens are high. And speaking of vulnerable, there are the socially, racially, and ethnically vulnerable populations that continue to face barriers and misinformation to vaccination and are particularly susceptible to poor outcomes when disease burden is high. Now, for each of these reasons, high disease burden, despite promising trends, a new variant brewing, and unprotected populations, we should be cautious as we look to pull back mitigation measures. Now, let's be clear, we will not mask and distance forever, and better days are certainly to come. But as we determine our path forward, that path should be guided by metrics, should be informed by experts, and focused on equity. Guided by metrics, informed by experts, and focused on equity. We don't need to go from zero to 60 all at once. If we've learned anything over the last two years, we should proceed with caution. And remember, each of our communities in Milwaukee County has public health officers, leaders who've spent most of their waking and likely their sleeping lives over the last two years thinking about how best to keep their community safe. So use these folks, trust them, and engage them in these discussions as we move forward. 